Hey Cappies, I'm Island Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive channelings and messages for Capricorn. Uh, I do these about once every 30 days depending on the flow of my life. Um, that's just how I function. I go with the flow and if I got stuff I gotta do, I got stuff I gotta do. Uh, there's a part two over on Patreon. You can also find it on Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. And just a little disclaimer, um, if you're coming to my readings, I work from the macro to the micro. It's the best way I can think of to explain it. Meaning the things I pick up on tend to be very like big picture, like very multidimensional. And then I try to like bring it back down to the physical reality. Um, so you can get more of the messages that are pertaining to like everyday life stuff versus like big spiritual stuff. But if you're hanging in for the latter, the more like micro stuff, you got to hang in there for the whole read. Sorry, it's just how I work. <laughs> it's how Spirit likes to work with me. Um, but yeah, that's just my little spiel. There's also a website, socials, all that stuff is linked below. I will be doing sessions sometime soon. Um, my sessions may change though, so please don't try to book right now. Just wait for me to announce it. I'll announce on my website first and then on Patreon and then on YouTube and then on social media. Okay, actually, I'm going to turn the AC off. I can tell it's kind of loud. Uh, I'll be right back. Hold on. Oh, Clydester. Clydester, I hear you. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? I can't play right now. I'm almost gonna work. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Clyde is definitely in a mood right now okay there's a lot going on and he knows it and he's like mom i don't like this I'm like i know i'm sorry i know it is what it is capricorns it's gonna wait it's gonna take a minute to kick off but anyway let's go ahead and get started so initially what i was getting with you was a lot of crown energy a lot of crown energy and they just kept showing me lots of purple um <laughs> that's him acting out he's playing with things let him play um, you guys could be in very heavy, heavy meditative states. There could be a lot coming up in dream time for you, or you could just be getting a lot of downloads or feel really activated at this time. <sighs> but yeah, lots of crown energy. Hold on, let me tilt that down. Oh, that feels so much better. I like, I don't know why I want like more like the down views lately. Even if you can't see my head, it just feels right for some reason. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, but Cappy, yeah, that's what I'm getting with you. Just a lot of crown energy. And then they were showing me sunflowers. That could be a synchronicity for you. You could really enjoy sunflowers. I usually associate sunflowers literally with like joy, like the sun card is what I associate with it. Um, but sunflower, mm, I'm getting that crown energy again, even with the sunflower. So we could be exploring sacred geometry. There's something about that that I'm getting, I just keep getting sacred geometry as it relates to the sunflower. I personally work with the lotus, maybe flower of life calls to you, um, but there's something, there's something about that. I'm also getting cycles too. So you guys have definitely cleared out some cycles. Um, this is something that's been coming up in the collective. So I'm just gonna mention it here. This like whole catching up to the physical manifestation of completion, like knowing it and then knowing it in the heart and the emotions and the soul and then, in the body, like physically experiencing the change or completion of something. Um, for some of you, you're finally hitting that physical manifestation of a completion. Uh, something else they wanted me to mention, I keep, I like, there's so, there's just so many things as far as like little, like how to watch my videos, like who should be watching my videos. Um, there's always collective messages in all the sign readings because we're all the signs and we're all privy to all that energy all the time anyway, or exposed to not privy to, but we all deal with all of the signs all, all the time anyway. Um, it doesn't mean that there aren't specific messages for you in like this sign reading. Just know that there may even be some collective stuff that comes up in each reading, okay? Anyway, Cappies, I wanna get back to you. Um, this is also something kind of collective and it came up for Scorpio and another sign relating to the full moon Pisces about going to the dark and pulling things up out of the shadows, up out of the darkness, out of your subconscious, even out of the void. Um, but there's the way it's coming through for you, they're showing me a door. Maybe you got a closet you don't like to open. This could be very literal for some of you. Um, that's him making noise. My crown is so stimulated, I want like no noise right now. So it's kind of distracting. Sorry, Cappies, let's get back to you. They're showing me a door. Um, what is this door about? <sighs> that noise. Um, <laughs> 
it's like normally it doesn't bother me, but right now because I'm just like so much crown energy with you, I'm just like, ah, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Um, you could not be having headaches too, Cappies. You could be having some headaches. Um, this freaking door. Some of you guys, this door may be a block. Some of you, it could just be something that um, is about your subconscious or something that's been lurking in the background. I feel like you're aware of this door. Whether you're opening it, walking through it, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out, but you're aware of this door. It's like, yeah, I, I keep getting this feeling of like something being hidden away or buried in the subconscious or like blocked from your awareness. Like there's something about it with this door. Hold on, I need a little sippy sip. I'm gonna bring this closer. Are, are you done messing around? No, I can tell you're anxious. Poor thing. He's like, no, I'm not okay. It's okay, bubs. It's okay. You want more space? Here. Hold on, sorry guys, being a cat mom for a second. Let me get all these pens out of your way. Is that better? Huh? Can you relax now? Hmm? Can you chill now? Yeah? Sorry guys, he's just going through a lot. Okay, Cappies, let's go ahead and pull some cards for you, okay? <sighs> Actually, are you gonna do the Chakra Wisdom Oracle? We are, we're gonna start the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. What's going on for my Capricorns? Any messages or insights for my Cappies in this present moment? Keep in mind these are timeless in general whenever you can cross this is when you're meant to see this. Mm. Capricorn. Capricorn, I, I feel some resistance going on with you. Um, it's in relation to this freaking door. I don't know why this door is bothering me so much. Maybe it, it's bothering you. This door, whatever this door is, again, like a block or it's like something that is like being hidden from you or something that you feel like you maybe even a little you're a little afraid of or anxious about. It's but it, I can feel it. It's frustrating me. There's there's resistance around it. Interesting. And then we get wisdom and impatience. The door is going to open when it's supposed to open. That's what I just heard. The door is going to open when it's supposed to open. For some of you guys, this is like an opportunity you've been waiting for. And you're like, why the hell is it not here? Or why isn't it manifesting? Or why is it delayed? Like, some, you know what I mean? It's like whatever is about this door, it feels like it's like a border or barrier between you and like, yeah, an opportunity or some kind of truth or some kind of fear it's it's definitely a, it's a it's a barrier it's a barrier between you and something else um but for a lot of you i'm feeling it's like something that you are anticipating like you're looking at the door you're aware of the door and you can you're frustrated you're frustrated whatever's on the, on the other excuse me whatever's on the other side of the door something about it feels not liberating, what's the word? Elevating. Something about it feels elevating. Whatever's on the other side of the door. For some of you, it could be liberating, but they're saying elevating, elevating, elevating. But if it's like, if there's fear around this door or anxiety around this door, you could opening it, walking through it, seeing what's behind it, could be liberating for you, right? All right, let's keep going. Anything else for my Capricorn? Anything else for my Capricorns? There's the purple. Interesting. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is a card of acceptance and letting go. Um, oh, how does that want to be said? Um, I feel like I said this sometime in the last couple months a lot. Um, things are not done to us. They're done for us. Right? Like bad things don't happen to us or rejection doesn't happen to us. It happens for us. Oh, Ponopono may be something that's coming up for you too. I just got I just got that very strongly. Um 
I feel like this is actually the key to opening the door or to the door being finally ready to open for you. Mm. Yeah, letting go. There's something you, there's something that you need to let go of or make peace with or find peace with and that's going to open the door. That'll be like like it'll you'll be prepared for the door to open, for that opportunity to happen or to see that truth or to elevate into a specific version of you or situation. You understand what I'm saying? It's like it's like you've been waiting for the next thing or the next step or the next elevation or the next relationship or the next opportunity. It's like and you've been staring at the door like why the hell is this door still closed? Certain things didn't happen to you. It happened for you. There's emotional stuff to let go and clear here and find peace with and make peace with. Again, Ho'oponopono may be really um, beneficial for you. Okay. What else wants to come out? For Capricorn. Capricorn. Got one other one out here. Guilt. Ooh, I did not expect that. Ooh, I don't, I don't like the way that makes me feel. It makes me feel all tingly on the left side. This could be relating to feminine energy for you or your feminine, or this could even be some collective stuff coming in here because there's been a lot going on with both the feminine and masculine here, collectively speaking. <sighs> this is a sense of obligation. obligation of service actually and specifically in this card they use the example of like um of like like dealing with somebody who's like an addict and then feeling like you have to take care of them because they can't take care of themselves but then it's like if you leave then you're abandoning them they use that example for this card um some of you may have a history with these kinds of relationships but that's that's what i'm getting with this it's like Is this part of the block? Is this part of the barrier? Yeah, this is part of something you're tied to. Oh, Cappies. This is something that you are tied to that is keeping that door closed. And yes, while you're frustrated and you're like, come on, come on. I want what's on the other side of that door. There's, there's something that really wants to be released here for you in terms of... I just keep getting it's in terms of obligation. Some of you may be dealing with enabling relationships or an enabler or being an enabler or a codependent relationships or codependency in and of itself. There, there's better words for this. I'm trying to pinpoint it. Give me a second. There's something about it that's also kind of seven of cups like and murky. There could be a lot of illusion and distortion around this for you. Like you, like, you know, but you don't like really look at it. Yeah. Like, you know, but you don't really look at it. So it's murky, like muddy waters. And this is something else I'm getting with you too, Capricorns. It's like, and this is a typical Capricorn thing that I'm about to talk about. Cappies, you guys tend to do a lot because you're the Capricorn. You can handle a lot. But the feeling I'm getting is like things being put upon you. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. And I'm getting strong like childhood sort of vibes here. Like you did shit because no one else was doing it. <laughs> you just got frustrated. Yeah, like you did shit because no one else was doing it. And that sense of obligation, that twisted, distorted sense of obligation and being of service in that way, being used in that way really is what is actually keeping this door closed. There's anger there, Cappies. There is. There's anger. Uh, Capricorns, for some of you, this is definitely not all of you, but I'm getting a small group of you where you know you're angry. You know you carry this sense of obligation or duty. It's like <sighs> guilt, <laughs> really. Um, how do I want to say this? Oh, uh, sorry. Give me a second. How do I want to say this? I feel like this is definitely for those of you who are in enabling relationships, like who probably grew up in a household or within a family or certain dynamics where, yes, you did a lot, like you were probably parenticized, right? Um, 
but you know they did their best. So you're like, I'll just keep showing up. I'll just keep showing up. I'll just keep showing up. I'll just keep self-sacrificing because they, they don't know any better. Well, Cappies, you can't go to the next level chained to that or chained to that pattern or that or those relationships. For some of you, it's very physical relationships that need to be dealt with. But I'm getting for most of you, it's like pattern. Pattern, thought form, maybe it's even just, even if you've dealt with all of that shit, right? Like I said, like, it's like, you gotta like <laughs> bring into your awareness, knowing and then knowing emotionally and then like physically fully grounding that. Um, so whether you're still dealing with these relationships or relationship dynamic or family stuff, or you're dealing with the, the emotions or, or thought patterns, some of you, there's just some residualness, some residual gunkiness that's still part of your physical reality that just wants to be released and let go of, cleared, that wants to be cleared. So take that as it resonates. Overall, we do have abundance um, underneath that. So, which I think is kind of interesting because I feel like that's also what's on the other side of the door. It's elevation. It's elevation. But you gotta recognize how you're feeding this monster. It feels like a little monster. It feels like a little cretin. Like, that's what it feels like. Energetically, that's what it feels like to me. Um, no, I'm not saying a person, even if these this is like part of like active relationships you need to deal with. It's like, it's the energy of that, that pattern, that pattern programming. Some of you are realizing that you have difficulty with relationships because you have a need to be needed. Because you grew up needing to be needed. You well not well, you probably grew up being needed by people who should have been taking care of your needs, right? Some of you are tying your worth to that still. The needing to be needed. But I think this is really coming into your awareness. And I because I got all that crown energy, I feel like a lot of it is coming through like, like I said, dreams or meditative states. Um, yeah. And again, Ho'oponopono may be very helpful here for you. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on. God, 18 minutes. God, I can really talk. Sorry, guy. Uh, we'll pull from one more decade. I'll go into part two. Uh. <clears throat> Normally I do the animal deck. I feel like it's not going to add anything actually. So I'm not going to do that. Ooh. Ooh, here's one that we haven't worked with in a while. Hello. Uh, Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Yeah, let's do this one. Sing. You're talking about me. <laughs> Any messages or insights for Capricorn? Any messages or insights for Capricorn? They keep, oh, sorry, I got chills. They keep bringing up this need to be needed. Um, getting some heart stuff. Hold on, what's this about? For anybody who's like still dealing with that need to be needed, um, the more you feed that, the more you actually keep yourself closed off from being vulnerable with people. Um, like I'm getting, I'm getting like a lot of heart stuff. I mean, like the amount, the back of my heart's been crazy for a hot minute for other stuff, but like it's kind of intensifying my, the back of my heart stuff. Because as long as you're fulfilling a need to be needed and you're tying your worth to that, and then that goes away it's like then how your your relationship with your worth your relationship with your own needs when it comes to like how you deal with people like don't have an outlet anymore right it almost like becomes unstable but it, i feel like it's to also get you to, to recognize like emotional authenticity like where are you on that spectrum when it comes to dealing with people when you're not fulfilling that role of needing to be needed interesting some deep stuff going on there any messages or insights for my Capricorns? Any messages or insights for my Capricorns? Okay. I 
And again, I want to say a lot of you, I think, have worked through a lot of this already, but it's almost like something about the way it's grounded into the physical reality as a full on completion. Like you've known and you've known, but like, has the body known? Is it reflected in your reality yet, right? Can I get some messages or insights from my cappies? literally what I was just talking about. So we have the six of wands in reverse and then the heaven and earth card. Heaven and earth card is kind of like the page of pentacles, but this card um, speaks specifically of grounding, like grounding as above to so below, bringing it into your awareness, your knowing, your emotional knowing, and then in your body, in your physical reality. That six of fire in reverse is, is honestly just speaking to the struggle of this, um, like almost like the completion Yes, it's happened, but not fully, not fully in the physical. It's like, that's honestly what I'm getting with the six of wands in a verse. Um, some of you could be dealing with some major conflict in some of your active relationships right now, especially if you've had a lot of these relationships going on recently. The six of wands in a verse is also indicative of not having resolution with people like literally not able to get on the same page with another person. But I feel like if that is happening, it's because you're still trying to ground out this knowing of getting out of that pattern, okay? Yeah, let's keep going. Ooh, my third eye just went. That felt like a stab to the third eye. That was very uncomfortable um thought interesting <laughs> it was like oh <laughs> and here we have thought the mind is very powerful and literally it wanted to land on the the pattern uh the programming that thought form right um i feel like thought is just representing literally like paradigm and program and also your emotions tied to it because that's the thing it's like awareness emotions and then the body right physically grounding it out in your reality um yes awareness is key but there, there's also emotions there too that want recognition and want to be cleared i want to say even out of the body cleared out of the body can i get a card for the thought card please again i want to say this is mostly for capricorn where the body hasn't caught up to the emotions or the awareness of this pattern But you know where you are on the spectrum of that. She, oh my God, and five of wands in reverse. Again, awareness and knowing that this pattern needs to be over, right? Five of wands in reverse indicates like not wanting to fight, not wanting to have that conflict, not wanting to um, have this battle anymore, not be part of that pattern anymore. But this is struggling to ground it in your physical reality or not realizing that you haven't yet. Wow, okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be there for people. Sorry, this needs to be spoken on. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be there for people or to be of service for people, but there's healthy and unhealthy ways to do it, right? On both ends. <laughs> it's funny, and I says, say that. The two of air comes out. This is about polarity. There's the healthy way and there's the distorted shadowy way of doing this. There's like codependency and enabling or being interdependent with people and giving them the space to figure out their own stuff and you giving yourself the permission and space to not need to be needed. Again, didn't happen to you, happened for you. Ho'oponopono. right? You love them. You forgive them. You ask forgiveness. You let it go. And then we have, interesting, then we have the queen of earth and the four of air. Four of air is usually like taking time out, meditate, sleep, reflect, 
right? Heal, recover. That's four of swords, which again, I, I think meditation will really help a lot of you or like spending a lot of time in that restful, quiet, internal place to allow this like the the awareness of, oh, I haven't grounded this out in my reality yet or, oh, I haven't dealt with the emotions of this yet or, oh shit, it's just coming into my awareness now. Wherever you are on that spectrum, again, awareness, knowing emotionally and then grounding in your physical reality and out of your body, okay? Allowing the emotions and trauma and thought form to like leave your body. Anyway, Queen of Earth and Four of Air, that's what I, that's what I'm really getting with that. Um, the Four of Air also speaks to time in this in this deck. I'm not really feeling the time component, unless some of you guys are doing some soul retrieval work, which could totally be part for part for the course, especially if this is like newly in your awareness or you're going through the emotional part of it. But if you're beyond that, I feel like it's just realizing, oh, this still just needs to like fully leave my body. I just need to fully ground this or like make physical actions in my reality to reflect the fact that I have closed the chapter on that pattern, right? But that's what I'm getting with the Queen of Earth and the Four of Air. And then overall, we have basically the Page of Cups, the Emotion and Intellect card. Um, mm, attachment of Emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. I feel like I'm saying, saying this a lot. When we don't allow them to be that, that's when we get attached to things. That's when things get stuck in the body, right? That's what I'm literally getting with this. Like having the discernment to observe your emotions, your energy in motion, and let it be in motion. Let it be flow, let it flow through you. Let it be in a flow state, not in a, what is this? And like holding on and like da, 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 da. That's actually what I'm getting with the emotion and intellect card. Not letting your emotion, also this card speaks of not letting one rule you over the other, your head or your heart, allowing both to coexist, but uh, allowing both to be in flow. No resistance. Oop, as I drop it. <laughs> no resistance. Okay, Cappies, I'm gonna jump into part two and we're gonna get into this a little deeper um see how maybe even physically this is manifesting in your life because i can feel i can feel relationship i can feel a lot of relationship stuff like i'm feeling friendship definitely feeling that whole parent child thing um and i can still feel the frustration about this door not being fully open or not or feeling like you haven't fully elevated to where you thought you were supposed to or by now have experienced. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. If this is where you depart, I hope you enjoy. And if this is like where you're gonna go into part two, I'll see you soon, all right? Cappies, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great night. Take care. <laughs>